Listen to that din. Pandemonium reigns at the Coliseum. Eight more matches to come on round of 64 day in Watford. Ronnie O'Sullivan back at the table, looking very relaxed, having a chat with Billy Castle as they descended the stairs. Who's going to win the lag? And what will they decide to do? It's pretty tight, but Ronnie's done it. And he's going to break first. And if there's one shot that Ronnie O'Sullivan has struggled with in recent seasons, it is the break-off. He's tried all sorts of different ones. How's this one going to pan out for him? It looks pretty good behind the green. Yeah, I think now that the cross are a day or two old, it's easy to get that cube in behind the green because the cushions aren't skidding quite as much as we were on the first day. Billy Castle was clinical in taking out Andy Lee in round one. A break of 69 got it done. Lee didn't trouble the scorers. And, of course, O'Sullivan came through a dramatic encounter with McManus. And he's first up here. Nice long red. So the decision to break has paid off for the five times world champion. Tough black, though, this for Ronnie. Oh, he's missed it. There's pressure on that, but he's, he's, he's lucky in a way because the blacks escape towards bulk, and he hasn't left a sitter for Billy Castle by any means. A chance, nonetheless, for the underdog. One perhaps he didn't expect, but he's missed two. It's very, very tense out there. The crowd are making, even by their standards, quite a din. Didn't look as alive with those two reds with pop, but Billy thought the outer one of the two did. And is Ronnie going to be fortunate to be on the black here? I don't think he played for it, but I'll tell you what, that'll be yeah. handy. He can get the black back on the spot now. What a chance he'll give himself. So, two blacks missed already by O'Sullivan. Unusual. But this tournament can do funny things to you. Remember, it's only O'Sullivan's third ever shootout appearance. And another miss. It's catching. It's so hard when the pressure's on you just to strike the ball cleanly. Oh, well, amazing. Do you see what Absolutely I mean? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, when do you see Ronnie O'Sullivan miss three pots in a row like that? Billy Castle deciding that pots just aren't going in, let's play safe instead. I mean, that, for O'Sullivan, is a sitter. A rare moment of hush. Won't last. And now an in-off, goodness me! What an extraordinary start to this frame. Ball in hand for Billy Castle, what can he do with it? Well, this is his fourth chance, I think, in as many visits. So, Billy, this is your chance against Ronnie O'Sullivan, the game's greatest ever player. One. Now, does the black go? Oh, it does. Well, hasn't got ideally on his next red. He does have a, a pot on. Eight. And red at the top of the pack, if it went, would have been handy, but it doesn't. Difficult the pot here for Billy Castle and the positional aspects of the shot. No, he's not even looking at it now because of that. Well, given the errors we've seen so far, a 10 point lead is actually quite a significant one for Billy Castle. Still six and a half minutes to go. No attempt at the pot there. Looking for a good safety in the hope that that will create the opportunity. But that was well cued. These pockets are unforgiving. Yes, they are, Phil, but you can see the risk that is attached to that. And when you consider that Billy's actually chosen to not take on a couple of pulls and, one. and play a safety shot instead because of the risk. I'm surprised he took that one on. That was delicately done by O'Sullivan. Much more like him. 
Well, it was a brave Six. red that he took on, and he got mighty close to it. How expensive will it prove to be? Seven. Now Sullivan about to take the lead here. Played in the very first shootout, 2011, lost to the eventual runner-up, Rob Milkins, in the last Twelve. four. Returned four years later, where he lost to Tom Ford in the last 32, and five years on. 13. Looking to win the shootout for the first time, and in the process, move on to a record-breaking 37 ranking titles. It would be ironic indeed if he were to break that record here at the shootout. 20. We need to be careful here. Didn't have a good angle on the black. Oh, good shot though. 21. Straight on the black would have been better for Ronnie, but I think that's about as good as he could have done. Oh, he's cued that very nicely. But did he hold the cue ball enough for the red? And I don't think he has been looking for his expression there. 21. So O'Sullivan with a modest 18 point lead. Shade over four minutes still to go. It's going to finish behind the green. Oh, that could be a winner. Remember, O'Sullivan has to be careful not to leave him in here. And also not to commit the foul while ball in hand. So he can put it wherever he likes. Second time he's had that luxury in this frame. Can he make it pay this time? I have to say, Phil, that when Ronnie One. tried to escape from that snooker, that cue ball came off so squarely off that side cushion. Went past his intended red and just missed another one and cannoned into the black. So Billy Castle, wow, what a chance you've got here, old boy. Well, he played a great safety. O'Sullivan acknowledged it, tap on the table, had him snookered, had him in all kinds of bother. So he's created Nine. this chance with a really good shot. It's now a question of converting it. Into the lead he goes, as we reach the 15. sharp end of this round of 64 battle. I'm sure the nerves are really, well, Billy is really suffering with them right now. He's just got to hold himself together. It's a real challenge for him. Terrific amount of Brandy nervous two. excitement coursing through Billy's veins at the moment. Ranked 104 in the world, up against the world number five, and five times Brandy champion again. of the world. Short shootout or no, this would be a major feather in Castle's cap if he can complete the job. And he's getting closer. I couldn't have played that any better. Can't afford to miss this. And that might just be the winning shot. The lead is building, time is running short for O'Sullivan. Will he get another chance? 35. Thirty-six. I don't think Ronnie O'Sullivan, even Ronnie O'Sullivan, could recover this deficit in such a short space of time. Yeah, 32 in front now. It's looking a little bleak oh, to three. for the former semi-finalist here. Well, only 75 seconds to play with, it's going to take something. Incredibly special for O'Sullivan to turn this around. That had to go, surely. Ah, congratulations, Billy Castle. What a win. Yeah, and it was based on that excellent snooker he laid. O'Sullivan tapped the table, he knew what a good shot it was. It had him in all kinds of bother, he fouled. And from ball in hand, Castle has done enough.
to cause the upset. And there's the handshake. Well played, Billy Castle. Ronnie O'Sullivan is out of the 2020 shootout at the second round stage.